Today I fucked up when I encouraged my roommate's dad to follow me to his son's room. Yesterday my roommate's dad decided to show up at our apartment unannounced. I answered the door and invited the dad to come inside. I was high as fuck at the time, but I did the same shit I always do when I'm pretending not to be high I would repeatedly stop my eyes from closing at the last minute before blinking. I have no idea why I do that or how it even became a thing, but I imagine I just end up looking like I'm struggling not to fall asleep instead of looking less high. The dad could tell I was stoned and I could tell that he could tell, so to avoid prolonged eye contact, I literally turned my back towards the dad and encouraged him to follow me to his son's room. The dad said he was willing to wait in the living room until his son was ready to see him, but I insisted that we go to the source. It was the weed talking. As we approached my roommate's room, it was obvious from the noises that he was having sex. I was aware that my roommate was having sex long before his dad showed up, but somehow I forgot to remember that until it was too late. The dad and I heard my roommate calling his girlfriend a slut more than once, which prompted the dad to knock on the door and make his presence known with a pissed off tone in his voice. That was my cue to walk the fuck away. Even though I didn't stay to watch the fireworks, I heard the dad yell at my roommate for being disrespectful and degrading towards his girlfriend and threatening to tell his mom. When the dad was done speaking his mind and stormed out, my roommate and his girlfriend had nothing good to say to me and I did not blame them. Because of me, my roommate is now gonna get regular visits from his parents every week. TLR convinced my roommate's dad to follow me to his son's room while I was high and the son was having sex. No happy ending for anyone. Bro you were on a different planet. I was high as fuck at the time, but I did the same shit I always do when I'm pretending not to be high I would repeatedly stop my eyes from closing at the last minute before blinking. This is the best part about this post and I cannot believe nobody has stated that fact. The image of someone popping their eyes open wide right before they blink over and over is hilarious. No, sir, you must come this way. The, I forgot to remember, level of high. I am overdue for one of those. Damn bro you were not equipped to handle that tears of joy. Is your roommate not an adult? Today I fucked up by hooking up with my ex. Today I fucked up by hooking up with my ex. This happened a week or so ago. We've been broken up for about two months but spent the last week sorta rekindling, hooking up. Anyways I was at home smoking some weed and minding my own business. She had went out drinking with some girlfriends and ended up texting me around 11 p.m. asking if I was ready for her. Me being a man of course I say yes. Anyways she comes over and immediately gets naked. We start doing the freaky freaky and as per usual when she is drunk she wants it doggy style. So anyways we continue going. She says to me, you know what I need. And I'm like, yup I do, like a good old golden retriever. I give my old thumb a good lick and insert it into the back door. We keep going for a few more minutes and decide to change positions. It's at this point when I pop the cork I realize I had some doo-doo on my thumb. Me not caring I jump up quick and go to my washroom to clean said thumb before we continue. This is where she asks what I'm doing. I quickly tell her I'm just cleaning your shit off my thumb. Well, that wasn't a good idea. Apparently I killed the mood and it instantly reignited a fight tears of joy. Why did I bother cleaning my thumb off? How much was actually on there? Etc. It was enough that it covered my thumbnail. I wasn't going to rub that in her hair or my bed. I thought I was being a gentleman by cleaning my thumb instead of rubbing it all over her, but I guess I embarrassed the shit out of her. Too long did not read. Hooked up with my ex, opened the back door with my thumb and got some doo-doo on it, cleaned it off and ruined the mood by being considerate, did not finish. I embarrassed the shit out of her. Phrasing, op. There is either nothing here or just this link. Maybe just tell her you're washing your hands and leave out the, I'm cleaning your shit off of me, part. You did the right thing by washing it off, but a white lie would have saved the mood. I had a similar conversation with my ex. If you're going down on someone and end up with something extra in your mouth, take care of it and move on. If you tell me about it, now I'm embarrassed and feel gross and it's all over. I just nonchalantly spit the fuzz out and keep on going. Read the title and thought to myself, yeah that was bound to happen. Nope did not see that coming. At all. I think cleaning your thumb was the right thing to do. Today I fucked up by missing a voicemail where a girl confessed her feelings for me. A girl, 20, I, 21, was in class with matched with me on Tinder a couple years ago. This was during lockdown so we had never seen each other in person, only over Zoom. 
I thought she was super cool and had to kick myself when I forgot to ask for her number before the course ended. If not for Tinder, we probably would never have connected. After we matched, it was an immediate spark. We texted non-stop for days and it was all great banter. When we did end up going on a date, there was no awkwardness. It was like meeting with an old friend. The only problem was I didn't want to do anything physical. My grandmother was living with me and she was struggling medically. If I brought COVID into the house and got her sick, I could never forgive myself. So we only went on outdoor dates. Nevertheless, it was fun. One night after we went out, I got a voicemail from her. Here comes the fuck up. I forgot about it in the morning and never listened to it. Weeks passed and while we still talked, I noticed she had become reserved. This continued until she just stopped talking to me. Fast forward to this year, I reconnected with her. We got together and I was super happy to have salvaged our relationship. But I noticed she still seemed reserved and grew more and more emotionally unavailable. Finally I confronted her about it. I told her that I wanted to date but needed to know what was going on between us. She laughed at me and said, so now you want a relationship but you turned me down when I told you the same thing. I had no idea what she was talking about. Unfortunately, she refused to see me again and now I'm sure the relationship is dead. So today I was cleaning out my voicemail inbox because doctors were complaining about it being full when I saw her unread voicemail. It was like three minutes long. In it, she sang a goofy love song and basically said she was falling for me. I think she was drunk because she thought it was a phone call and kept asking why I not answering her. TL. Doctor a girl I was interested in sent me a voicemail where she confessed her feelings for me but I only listened to it two years later and now we're not on good terms. Update. Some of you recommended I tell her. So I did. She replied with one, LMAO. Update two. So some people said I should explain myself to her a bit more. I tried to call and she just didn't answer. And her voicemail is full. Then she asked why I called. I said how I felt and if we could find a way to overcome it. She sent me a thumbs up emoji. I think this ship has sailed boys. You need to just tell her you fucked up and only just heard the voicemail it'll be funny to tell your friends and family in a few years but if you guys have mutual feelings and neither are dating sorted out man. Hmm. I'm reading some drama on her end. She should have asked you if you checked your voicemail. Lots of people don't check it. Instead she chose to believe you were just ignoring her message or rejecting you. A cute message with singing? Even if you didn't feel the same way, chances are you would have commented on her message. At the minimum, she needs to work on her communication skills and not jump to negative conclusions. Your turn to sing a goofy apology, explanation on her voicemail. Today I fucked up by booting the wrong guy out of the office. Big day today in the office, but drinks planned later in the day so it should be good day. Me being a low-level engineer at a branch office gets early into the city before heading out to the client. Stops by the office, first person in, except this one guy loitering in the lobby. No ID card, sorry, can't let you in. Looks like a security audit, better thread carefully. Guy say he's here to see a manager. Always a LinkedIn scam. We are a high security business and have to be onto it. Trying to call manager to confirm, no answer, tells, Bob, I can't verify, and I may have to check with security. Bob decides to leave. Later check with manager, yup, he knows Bob, and was indeed expecting him. Later in the evening at company event over drinks, gets reintroduced to Bob, who I effectively booted out, turns out being the EMEA, Africa, Asia Pacific Global Manager from head office. Too long did not read. Booted a guy out trying to sneak into our branch office, turned out to be global manager for company. I'd say you did the right thing. Good news, a global manager is going to be well aware of the security protocols at the offices around the globe, so you're good. Honestly, if you had done this at my office, you would have gotten a happy email from someone in your leadership chain. We're not supposed to let people we know tailgate in, let alone some stranger. You not only did nothing wrong here, you did everything right. Definitely not on you. You did everything by the book, trying to verify that he has an appointment, asking for ID, calling security to verify things. Even if you aren't a high security office like you said, probably shouldn't be letting just anyone into your building. Honestly I bet he realizes you did the right thing. Two of you would probably have a laugh about it if you went up and addressed it. Might even be good for your career, now you've got a good story to tell about how you underscore kicked out underscore the head global manager.